Okay, it's April 10th, and work continues on the Q31 AM shortwave receiver. I've been working on the diode ring mixer. Look, there's the diode ring right there. Using um, pads given to me by um, Pete Giuliano. I just cut them out in diamond shape, soldered the uh, diodes on there. I used two toroids that Farhan left. They're tri-filler wound toroids. And I've got it set up so VFO signal goes in here. RF signal, sig you know, simulating the, uh, the signal from the antenna or the bandpass filter goes in through here. And I'm taking the IF output at 455 right here. And I have a 47 ohm resistor serving as the load. Um, so what I, I would set up so that the RF signal is being simulated by my HP 8640B signal generator. Thanks, Steve Silverman, for giving me that. And over here, I have the VFO signal being simulated by my FieldTech signal generator. And so here it goes. And wait, you can see on the scope, there's the 455 KC energy coming out. Watch what happens when I crank down the um, crank down the uh, output from the VFO. Boom. No VFO, pretty much no 455 KC signal. Crank it up. There you go. So that's what the um, what the diode ring mixer is supposed to do. I've been looking again at the um, the physics of this mixer. It's quite interesting. It is a commutating mixer that multiplies the VFO and the RF signal alternately by one and negative one, which is a very interesting process. And I was looking, Alan Walke, W2AEW, has a really excellent video that describes in great, beautiful detail how this mixer circuit actually works. So I suggest you go back and take a look at Alan's um, video. Really very good. From about five years ago. Just look look on his YouTube site. Look for diode ring mixers and he's got a great explanation uh, of how they operate. Alright, work on this thing continues. I think I'm going to put a little RF amplifier here and then in a separate board and box I'm going to build a bandpass filter I'm going to base the bandpass filter on the topology used by Farhan in his uh, BitX40 module. I'm going to use the LC program to give me the, the values. And I might actually put the bandpass filter in kind of in one of these boxes here, kind of as a sidecar alongside. I'm, I'm running out of room on top of the chassis. I don't want to go too much underneath because it's a pain to work underneath. So I might just mount, mount a, a kind of a, a sidecar here on the side and put the bandpass filter in that one. This is the uh, the flexibility that you have when you're when you're home brewing. All right, that's that's it for today's update. Uh, stay stay safe, stay inside, flatten the curve.